Welcome to my channel. If you like the content, please subscribe for more. Aida for wanting a S-time toy my spouse doesn't want me to have. First time I've posted an Aida on this sub, and I chose here rather than the actual Aida sub because things get removed a lot before anyone even comments, and I need perspective. Good, bad, supportive, hateful, any advice is appreciated because I don't know how to feel. I, 20, my girlfriend, 20 then. Okay, I'll try to keep it short. Me and my girlfriend are kinky. We do role play. We each have toys for ourselves and each other and participate in each other's kinks that we are comfortable with. One thing she is not comfortable with is booty as time. And before people roll their eyes and assume this is another post of guy trying to get his spouse to try booty despite them not wanting to do it, please keep reading. As much as wanted to try it with her as I have done it with people in the past, I accepted that she had a bad experience in the past and never wanted to try it again. Period. Full stop. End of discussion. She has had some bad relationships in the past, so I suspect they guilt tripped her into doing it. He, I don't want to be one of those guys. So booty s time is off the table for her. Okay, cool. I don't mind getting pegged, but it's just a line that has been drawn. Fuck. Oh, now here's where things are sensitive, and I need advice on. Recently, my partner wanted us to get some new toys and came up with a system. We each buy the other three toys. Not mega expensive, but mind you, S-Time toys ain't cheap. The person buying get to choose one, and the person who gets the S-Time toy. C gets to pick two. And then we decided to do something together, which is send the clone a willy we made of my penis to a company who can remold it exactly the same, but with a better material as the material that comes with the clone, a willy kit is very hard and uncomfortable for my GF. So three gifts for each partner with one better made cloned penis. Hope that helps clarify the gift giving. I wanted to get a clit sucker for my G, and she wanted to buy me a second prostate massager. Now, again, I have S-Time toys. I have fleshlights that I thought my GF was okay with, but when I saw an booty fleshlight, I couldn't get it out of my mind, what it would be like, so I wrote it down as I wanted it. When she saw what I wrote, she freaked the duck out, like badly badly. It ranged from incoherent crying, hateful insults, to compromises that made no sense, like crying about why she can't give me that experience. Insults like she's going, instead get me a huge penis extender, rather than a prostate massager, because I clearly need it, and that we aren't doing the clone a willy thing anymore because it won't feel any better, and uh, her most desperate point saying she suddenly wants to do my kink with me. By the time I calmed her down and we had a clear conversation about it, she revealed she hated my two fleshlights and how I apparently have higher satisfaction with them than I do with her which I struggled to believe. She then apologized for the hateful comments she said and said she just said it to hurt me and it's not true, which I admit did sting. I was actually considering getting a penis sleeve a while ago to give her a new sensation, but after hearing her essentially call my junk small to just hurt me has made me rethink it. She also apologized for hypocrisy since she has a, a, a few different size toys and that she knows that fleshlights and toys are practically the same thing. It's time toys shaped as genitals. However, one thing she didn't take back was she does not want me to get a booty fleshlight ever. And I could tell she was serious. I asked why and she said it's a boundary for her and kept repeating that when I asked for elaboration. I then got messages from her friends later on. Some were constructive and wanting to mediate the argument, but others were angry saying, how can I do that to her? I confronted her and said she told them everything because she needed their help. I have felt uncomfortable in the past with her friends knowing our S-time life, but this has taken the cake and I feel teamed up on. So I need advice. I understand this is a boundary, but I don't get why I can't a get a S-time toy when I am more than okay with her not wanting to do it. And I also can't get over her extreme reaction, crying, insults, and now wanting to do booty stuff and telling her friends. Any advice would be much appreciated. Edit tone, spelling, and also wanted to clarify, I won't be buying it without her say so. I may want to, but I'm not going hurt her by buying it when said she's uncomfortable. It'll just make things worse. Edit two, regarding telling her friends stuff in the past. 
There has been only minor things like positions, how long it lasted, etc. To my knowledge, no intimate intimate details have been said, though now I'm not sure. Edit 3. People keep talking about the friends part and I mentioned it in a comment. She said she just wanted to vent to her friends because she was upset and didn't know what to do or say, so she told them the whole time toy buying thing in the argument. I'm also assuming they knew now no ah. The booty boundary. She said that she didn't know they were going to message me. Again, some in a more supportive, resolving the issue type tone, but some were just very accusatory and rude. One said and I quote, Why the duck do you want one anyway? Are you that desperate that you need jack off in a tube? That's so ducking creepy. Some of you who commented said you suspect she's keeping something from me, and I'm beginning to suspect that more and more, perhaps some of her friends know, and that why they had such a strong reaction, I'm not sure. I don't think it's infidelity, like one commenter suggested, and she's secretly super into booty. I suspect there is more to her part relationships she hasn't told me, which I don't know how to approach if I'm being honest. Another comment mentioned the insulting my junk aspect and how they all probably did it. None of the friends mentioned anything along the lines of insulty attempting to insult my size and somewhere quite angry, I'm average B2. Again, I said this in another comment, but this, the first time an argument like this has happened. She's never been like this before, so the insults are also a first time. I don't think she believes what she said. But for now, I'm going to go to sleep, be leave this to stew for a couple days. I may reply to comments, but until I make an update post, if I do that is, I will be leaving this here. Thank you for the advice, people. Even those who got downvoted a lot had some good advice I took on board, but everyone gave me a perspective I appreciate. I hope you all have a nice morning, afternoon, evening. Updated. For those that commented on that post, thank you. You were a big help. Stuff has happened. I just wanted to share because I don't know if there will be further updates going forward. It was both what I expected and worse. Here is where we stand. Two warning. Long post. After that post, I, 20 him, didn't call or text her for a day. I needed to figure out my thoughts and wrote a list of what I wanted to say. She, 20 fine, texted a couple times, asking if we could talk, but I think she eventually realized I wanted space. The day after, I texted if we could meet up in person because I needed answers, and L was questioning the cohesion and honesty in our relationship. She pretty immediately asked to meet up at her place and begged me to elaborate, but I told her I'd be coming over and that it better be just you. When I got there, there was a couple texts about how to please not blame the friends who were nice to me, but I was right to be angry still, and we shouldn't break up over this. The begging was starting to get annoying. I knocked. She was already at the door, and after some snotty hugging, she let me in. I said I wanted total honesty because this breakdown has freaked out and I can tell she's hiding something from me. I'll mention the most prevalent stuff since there as other general stuff I wanted to. No, no, one. Past relationships. You guys were right. She elaborated that exes had pressured her into booty in the past and that she only did it to please them. I asked if she had ever been majorly hurt and she said he couldn't sit comfortably for a week once and it hurt bad and told her boyfriend she would never do it again, to which he got angry and defensive and they broke up a couple. Days later, other relationships ended the same regarding someone bailing for no booty or she got hurt from trying and then refused, to which they then bailed. Apparently, I was the only guy okay with her. Boundary so that's why she was really happy she never had to do it. She then went on an unexpected tirade about how gross she felt and used some quite harsh language for the types of women who do booty. Words which you can probably assume. I believe this shame only heightened her reaction. I brought up the fact she's pegged me in the past, so why is she okay with that? Which I know sounds like I'm trying to guilt her, but I just wanted to cover all bases. She said it did make her uncomfortable the first time, which segues into the next topic. My estimuality. For those who didn't see the comment, I'm bi, but have never been with a guy, so I'll guess you'd say 
be curious. So I asked point blank if she disliked if I was by and there the most faint of pauses before she said no, so I asked her to try again, to which she said she was a bit uncomfortable when I came out to her at first because she was worried I'd grow bored of her and leave her for a guy. That's why she pegged me, but was terrified I'd approach her for booty's time because she didn't want to do it. Period, and was scared of being hurt again, or me picturing a man. In my head during the act, at this point I asked if I could see her phone. She kind of looked sad and terrified at the same time and I said this was really important for me. She gave it, and I went on the group chat of the friends who messaged me. I asked if she has told her friends about my estimuality. I've only told her and few close friends. She nodded and began crying, which just made me angry rather than annoyed. Complete trust, broken duck, everything else thus far. That has shattered it. I'm sickened because she knew how much it took for me to tell her. The friends, friend, since she vented to the group chat, she hadn't put anything else in it, but she very clearly didn't ask them to message me. There was no deleted message signal, nor any messages from friends indicating she asked them. A couple of the friends kept asking if she was okay, and the more abrasive friends were asking if she dumped me yet, which caused some infighting. It made me happy seeing the rude ones getting talked back to. I asked her if she was still going to be honest. She said yes, and I said telling her friends our worst time life was a betrayal of my trust and I needed truth, so I asked if she had still if she told her friends s time stuff. She began crying before I even finished the sentence and said yes she had, three times not including the venting. For reference, I asked her not to tell her friends anything six months ago. I was seething at this point and asked what she talked about. She kept crying. I know it's a dirty move, but I stood up as if to say, L leaving to which she begged me to stay, and she'll say everything. I just started scrolling further back to try and find something because they message daily and it's over the period of six months, so I stopped. I asked again what was said, and she said she talked about a time we had S time in a car stargazing. Four months ago, give it take. About time we did some roleplay, two months ago, and when we edged each other for hours two months ago. She could tell I was pissed and said L guess to try and eke help. She didn't go into detail. I asked her if she remembered how upset I was last time she did this and that she knew how much trust I would lose, to which she nodded, and that's just the S time. That didn't include my S time duality. She said, she let my s timeuality slip when drunk and since has refrained from getting that drunk again. I will attest she has barely touched alcohol in a couple months and swore the friends to secrecy. At this point, I was just so done, so I didn't even bother to ask how she's going to gain trust back. The toy. She could tell I was a ball of emotions at this point. So she asked if we are going to break up and I said I'm not sure and that I still have questions. I asked about the booty S-Time toy and my already owned fleshlights, and why she hated them so much to which she reiterated that I apparently had a greater reaction to them, to which I called bull poop because she's seen me use one of them like twice. She said she could tell in my reaction. When I asked about the booty fleshlight and her reaction, she cried again. One feel like I'm just repeating myself here. She said she was scared that, since she didn't do booty and I was curious, she was scared I would use the flashlight all the time and grow bored of her, that I would prefer the toy more, and that I'd leave her for a guy when I'd leave her for a guy when I wanted to experience them. Real thing. She said it's stupid because she knows the hypocrisy that she has different sized toys, and that doesn't mean she's going to leave me for another guy which, again, just annoyed me since she recognized. Even in the moment, she was fighting uphill. I then asked about her compromise and how she knew that I knew how much she hated booty so that fact she offered it was beyond manipulative. She agreed and said she was just trying anything to get me to stay. I said me getting a toy wouldn't indicate I would leave her because she knew how monogamous I am and that her fantasizing a man argument was also bad because I could be fantasizing about either gender using an anal fleshlight, 
which was a bit of dumb argument on my part, I admit. I then brought up something. Someone mentioned and asked if she was insecure of the tightness of her V2, which she said she wasn't but again said I moaned more with the flashlights. The insults. I began with the fact the friends messaged me. She was very apologetic and said she would ask all of them to apologize and ask for her phone so she could do it in front of me. I said it wouldn't be voluntary so it wouldn't be genuine. She said she still wanted to do it. I gave it back and then asked about what she said to me regarding her insulting my size. Again, she was extremely apologetic and said she was just upset and that it wasn't true. She loved my penis and that she wouldn't change anything about it and that I shouldn't ever feel insecure and that her being emotional doesn't excuse what she said. It sounded genuine and honest like everything else she said, but it still said it hurt me deeply. And I told her this and how I was going to buy one to try out and now I'm not sure. A couple other things were said, but those are the main things that I needed to know when I said I was done asking. She asked if I could forgive her. I said maybe, but not now. Now I want to be alone because I can't trust her if we remained together. Trust would entirely have to be rebuilt from the ground up. I won't drag it out, but I asked for a break and no contact for at least a month. She agreed, although wanted to stay together, but still agreed to my terms. That was two days ago. I have yet to get a message from her or her friends. I think she realized their non-apology wouldn't help and would in fact make things worse. Yesterday, I got drunk and just stayed in. And now, I'm just trying to figure stuff out. Apologies for not the happiest of updates and for the long post. You all helped last time, so thanks for giving me reassurance with my questions. I may respond to comments. However, writing this one, exhausting and quite emotionally taxing, so it may take a couple's hours for me to start replying if I do. She nor her friends know I wrote this and are not in Reddit, but if her or her friends come across this, T. You know I love you, but this has deeply hurt me, and these posts show my confusion and anger. Well, I'm sorry if they upset you, but I needed objective eyes. Outside of ours live, friends. I don't forgive you and acting all nice around me knowing I didn't want my S-time life talked about is so disrespectful. Even the few who wear nice and didn't send me hate. I still don't think L can be comfortable around you since you nangly lied to me. Redditor's Reactions Redditor 1 Oh good. She has trauma from abusive entitled partners and instead of dealing with it, she's decided to blame his best time uality, lash out at him in a verbally abusive manner, ignore his boundaries and demand that he make unreasonable changes in order to comply with hers. She needs therapy badly. He needs a spouse who isn't going to take out their trauma on his s time -ual orientation. I feel bad for both of them, but she is absolutely the a-hole here biphobic to boot redditor follow-up this girl got out of two abusive relationships and when she finds a guy who actually respects her her boundaries and her limits responds by outing him disrespecting his boundaries and shaming his s time uality he needs to run redditor 2 yikes i hope they're not together anymore her complete disregard for his privacy is a huge red flag. Redditor 3 Yeah, that's a complicated relationship for a 20-year-old. Redditor 4 So, oops, GF has some unresolved trauma from past relationships. Is 100's no-go on anything related to booty, yet is insecure that Oop is trying to pursue it via toys. I'm confused because I understand the whole thing about S-time positivity and respecting boundaries, but why not let the man get and use the booty toy? Why say mean and hurtful things in an effort to stop him from doing so? Eric, they're in the early 20s. Maybe they're just incompatible. And the friends trying to serve as mediators are just messy. Redditor follow-up. Because she gay panicked over the thought of him sticking his D into an ass toy and going, Oh boy, I like men completely now and don't want women anymore, and leaving her. Except he's not, and the only reason her fear came to fruition is because she's an a-hole. Redditor 5. 
She outed his s timuality in a hey group chat after he explicitly told her not to. Duck that and duck her. Redditor 6. Oop is better off without her. She's one of those biphobic people that's convinced that since he's admitted that he's bi, there's suddenly a risk of him getting bored. Even more importantly than that, she decided to out him to her friends when he clearly isn't comfortable being out yet. I feel terrible for Oop. I hope he finds someone that truly loves and accepts him for who he is. Redditor follow up. I always hated that biphobic poop. Straight people never cheat ever. Redditor 7. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, Shane is harder with them than I do with her, which I struggle to believe. He's literally the only arbiter of this. He's the one person who knows what his finish feel like. That whole thing sounds crazy and like he needs to run from this ungrown girl. It sounds like she's had some poopy experiences in the past, but she also sounds controlling, gaslighty, dishonest, insecure, and has total disregard for his privacy. Redditor follow up. And even if he did, so what? He's alone with AS Time Toy. He can move it exactly how he wants to get exactly what he wants without any of the mental burden of dealing with his crazy-ass partner and the fears that come along with it. It's not shameful to have an amazing ass finished by yourself. Redditor 8. She has understandable traumas from past relationships. That does not excuse her multiple brutal violations of Op's trust, the heinous attacks and insults against his person or anything else. And she does nothing but create her own self-fulfilling prophecy of him leaving her. Not over her trauma, not over her trauma, not over her heavily respected boundaries, but over her gay panicking over AS Time Toy. She's a different type of toxic than her exes, but toxic is toxic. And I hope Op left her ass to find someone that can respect him, his boundaries, and his privacy. Redditor 9. This relationship isn't healthy for either of them at this point. Girlfriend needs to figure herself out and Oop needs to get out of there. They're at different stages of maturity and self-acceptance and NGL involving her friends as heavily as she has would have been the final straw for me. My so's friends don't need anywhere near that amount of private information about me.